God created it. Hi. What are your thoughts on abortion? Um, I think I'm largely against it. Okay. Do you think that it's always wrong to intentionally kill an innocent human being? Um, I don't know. At some points, like, um, you did it maybe like a week or so in. Okay. That seems a little okay to me. Okay, so is um, only in the instance of abortion it's okay to kill an innocent human being, or is there other outside instances? Um, hmm, yeah, it's a good concession. If you go up to somebody, and in, uh, an innocent human being, and kill them, would you say that's justified in any other circumstance other than a week old um, person? I guess probably not. Okay, okay, so for some reason, because they're smaller and we can't see them, um, we've dehumanized them, right? It's easy to dehumanize somebody or, or to think less of somebody when you don't get you don't get to see them, you don't have a personal relationship with them, right? Um, and so it's very easy to do that with the preborn, but it's not right, right? Mm -hmm. I still think that probably there is a certain amount of time, like after the inception of like an egg or something, that it would seem okay to me, like maybe a week or so. But I mean, obviously, like a second trimester abortion or something like that, that's pretty. I don't know many people who would feel okay with that. The reason why this looks terrible and you don't want this to ever happen to somebody is because you can see it and it looks bad, right? But this person a few weeks earlier was still the same person. They still had the same value, even though they weren't more developed, right? right. A two-year-old is much more developed than this baby and we're much more developed than a two-year-old, but we don't grow in value as we grow. So even though they may not look like you and I yet, they're still the same uh, in value. Does that make sense? Yeah. Mm. Because if somebody were to tell you, they would justify the second term abortion and say, well, hey, it's, it's not really like a person yet. It's not really getting value until they're born or up until the third trimester, whatever label they want to put on it. Mm -hmm. Those are just arbitrary lines that we put so then yeah. we can justify the wrongs that we want to do. Mm. Does that make sense? Yeah, it does. So instead of trying to justify the wrongs we do, we should just not do them. Like your mask says, do good, yeah. right? Mm. It's hard for the all or nothing, you know, is right. That's usually the argument. Yeah, so throughout history, we've dehumanized people groups and said they're not people. Yes, they may be biologically human, but they're not people. So we're going to separate them. We're going to um, do harm to them um, because they're less than us, the mm -hmm. superior humans. Um, and we can look back at those times and even that's happening today and say that's wrong, that's evil. We shouldn't separate human beings and dehumanize them and call them non-persons. Seems like you thought this argument out. A good deal. Yeah, and I encourage you, even if you don't change your mind today or right now, I encourage you to think about this because this is killing over 2,300 people every single day in America, mm -hmm. okay? And there are people that want to draw lines. The reason I'm all or nothing is because that's the reality of it. The reality of it is we're all equal in value mm -hmm. and it's always wrong to intentionally kill an innocent human being. Mm -hmm. So it, it may seem like an extreme view, but in my view, it's an extreme view to say anybody is not valuable. Right. Right. I think that's like, that's like scary to me because you can think about the injustice that can occur whenever we say somebody's not valuable. Right. Right. That's why we've led to over 60 million babies being killed through abortion in America since it's been legalized. Thanks for talking with me. Yeah. But, thank uh, you for I talking. Yeah, for sure. Well, it's nice to meet you. My name's Lexi. And if you have any other questions, we have our number on the back. And if you know anybody in a crisis situation or is post-abortive, there's help number for them, okay? Okay. Thank Thanks. you. Have a good day. You too. There are still people out there willing to have these honest conversations. And we're all capable of having these conversations just like you saw Lexi have. All it takes is a little bit of bravery. You can go to our website and contact us, and we can get you connected with training and resources needed to get started. Together, let's end ageism and end abortion.